perfect start. He was looking for six, but four will do. No problem with the momentum there. Fizzing off the bat. That's gone away. Dilshan is away. Again, the power this time of Dilshan. Looking for those wide open spaces on the onside. Darren Savi comes on and that's the boundary that takes him past Jai Wadner and at the top of the tree among Sri Lankan T20 batsmen. Again, a good clean strike. Kushal Pereira, man of the series on the one day as he's taken that form into the T20s. Two fall, six boundary in three overs, seven four. Took that one away from outside off. No stopping him at the moment. Down the ground. Long on gives up early. Looking for the boundary, finds it. Starts off with the full toss, which is whipped away on the onside. That's gone for four. That brings up the Sri Lankan 50. That's a slow one. Swung away to mid wicket for four. Big, big one. That's gone all the way for six. No square, will it go to the boundary? It will! Great timing! Oh, this is going to be out, that's a soft dismissal. Clever bowling, very clever bowling indeed, he saw him coming. Quick run here, and Dilshan will make it. His 10th T2050, besides his 100. He's been enjoying an absolutely magnificent run with the bat in the shorter format of the game and especially in Palikali. Got him. He's missed a straight one. He's attempted that reverse sweep on many occasions, but it's not got him any runs at all. Well, this one got him out. Straight away off the mark. Lovely blow from the right-hander. Lovely hit again, four. Goes again, this should be four more. Dinesh Chandimal is on a roll. Down the ground, no chance for Bravo. Bit of extra pace. And it works in Jai Surya's favour. Well placed. Looking to give Sri Lanka some momentum again. Launched into that. Was waiting for an opportunity to go into overdrive. That's gone for six. No worries about that one.
Miscue will Narain take it? It's difficult. Holds it well. Then his Chandimal is, and he's made the most of it. After the loss of a wicket, his first boundary. He's connected with that one, and will clear Pollard. Helps it on its way. They're certainly on the charge now. Clearing deep mid wicket. Second six in the over. Miscued this one, but still gets six. Well, he doesn't have to worry about that one. It's well away from him in the stands, but it's still six. Clearing square leg. 50 partnership in next to no time. Will take four. Boundaries keep flowing. Gone again. One bounce four. Sri Lanka finished strong. Setting the West Indies a real challenge here as Bravo concedes over 50 in his four overs. So that's the target for the West Indies after Sri Lanka plays 84 of the last five overs, setting the West Indies a challenging target of 216 for victory. And Bolin, that's the Yorker. Sri Lanka have got off to a brilliant start. Johnson Charles has been yoked by Malinga. It's played fine. It will race away to the boundary. The West Indies are off the mark. And so is Samuels. Oh, this is off the edge. Over cover. Dilshan. I don't think he stopped it. Into the gap. We're looking for a couple here. That might go all the way. The timing was good. It's gone all the way for four. The timing was very good from Fletcher. Fletcher has whipped that one away. A six, one of the few bad deliveries Kulashrekar has bowled. Uh, it's high and it's not going to make to the boundary. There's a man under it and it's taken. Very good catch by Milinda Sirivardana. Fooled by the flight, but Fletcher isn't fooled. This one's going to sail over long on for six. Russell's on to summon off three balls. Fletcher puts that into the crowd. He's a dangerous player. Andre Fletcher gets underneath that. This is huge. He's missed his length. And he goes the distance. Another one. He's loving it, Andre Fletcher. In the gap. Oh, it's flat and six. Andre Russell this time. He's finding the middle of the bat. He's finding the gaps. And he's finding the boundary. Fourth 50. Fourth fastest T2050 for the West Indies. Yes! Got him. 
Should have had the strikes as he usually does. He looks like he's easy pickings, but he always does the job for the skipper. Full toss. Just over deep squalling. Got him. Slow ball from Dusmanta Chamira. The dangerous Andre Fletcher. He's just missed a straight one. Edged. And four. Hit hard. <laughs> no chance for the fielder at long on. How hard was that hit? Gets it through. More runs. More entertainment for the crowd. That's braved the weather. This is a big one. It's a big one. It's gone for six. That's what Pollard can do, and that's why he's so good against the spinners. Another short one, and that's... Oh, what an effort! What an effort! It's gone for six. That's Kapu Gedera. Would have been a miraculous catch had he taken it. Bravo! It's gone all the way. Great him with a six. And that's hit again, and that's going to be six more. The West Indians enjoying themselves against a spin. Back-to-back -back sixes. That'll go through as well. is given that's a big wicket bravo should be disappointed but the sri lankans have got the wicket they wanted and might be out caught he is pull a second of the catcher kyron pollard is the man dismissed the sri lankans seem to be doing it well they're dismissing the set batsman. This is flat, down to long on, taken! The seventh wicket's gone, come together with the catcher. The West Indian captain dismissed. That's in the air, may not make it, it's taken! Two wickets in two balls. Holder goes. Siri Wagner on the catcher. West Indies sliding. Sena Naik on a hat trick. He's having a short leg, a slip, a short mid wicket. Marling on the attack. Just three hat tricks so far in T20 cricket. Sena Naik, will it be the fourth? He survives. That's going to be four. Not finished yet. That's a good strike. He might still believe they can get it close. That's going to be taken. Chandimal settling under it. Seemed to take an eternity before getting to him. No mistake though, on the ninth wicket goes down. Excellent effort here from Bishu. One bounce four. That's it. Finish it up with two balls to spare. Sri Lanka, stay on the winning track. Stay unchallenged at the top in World T20 and can't be beaten in this brief series.
quicker delivery. Fired in from around the wicket, the angle into the stumps. 101.9k, seam up delivery. Sunil Narayan, late. Late on that one. Sri Lanka win by 30 runs. It's been a commanding performance. It's been a brilliant one. I enjoyed the batting. They showed that they're powerful. They showed that there's talent. And in the field, quick across the grass, picked up valuable catches, vital catches. A few variations which have caused problems or had done enough to put the West Indies down. Sri Lanka lead the two-match series, 1-0. The crowd, they have witnessed a tweet. It was certainly worth the effort to stay on despite the heavy rains. The ground completely covered with the top all is rain coming down at the scheduled start. And at the end of it all, a nearly full house here at Palikele, able to enjoy a victory for the home team that wasn't as straightforward as the final margin of victory might suggest. But again, in this shortened form of the game, it doesn't take much for you to lose the momentum and eventually surrender to the encounter as the West Indies have done. Sri Lanka, 2-0 in the test, 3-0 in the one day as the Aaron Sami, now the captain of the T20 squad as he has been for some time, chatting with two men who probably when they were at the crease, so giving the West Indies a chance of getting to that 216, Karen Pollard and Dwayne Bravo. But once more, Sri Lanka have shown the stuff of champions. A class team, a developing team once again, rebuilding in the course of this series. And even if there are a few smiles on West Indian faces, They'll be looking back at uh, the fact that they were in a position to really put a scare to the Sri Lankan team and uh, their fans gathered here at Palakele. Tremendous rapport between the sides because they play each other, if not as national teams, but in T20 formats so often. Sri Lanka winning by 30 runs to lead the series 1-0. West Indies with the early setback, losing Charles in the opening over, but Fletcher blazed away. Russell Bravo Pollard suggested something substantial, but it never really happened. And Solnarine at the end, by the time he got a few runs, it was all over. Four wickets for Senanayaka, who took a bit of a pasting, but he picked up four important wickets just at the time that the West Indies were pressing on the accelerator. Two apiece for Malinga and Siriwardana and raw pace from Chamira in picking up that one wicket. That's confirmation, Sri Lanka 215 for 3, 84 of the last five overs of their innings. The West Indies couldn't match that, losing too many wickets along the way to finish at 185 and losing by 30 runs.